So who won last week's challenge between the Joker and Deadpool? I got DC and Marvel news coming up next. Stay tuned. You are now tuned in to Lee's Final Word. Hello, Final Wordians. My name is Lee Boy, and you're listening and watching Lee's Final Word. Today, we're going to be going over the final news, where I update you on all the breaking news that's been happening this week in comic book TV shows and movies. But before we get to that, we got to go over what happened in last week's final challenge between Joker and Deadpool. And the winner is... Deadpool. That's right, the Merc with the Mouth came out on top over the Clown Prince of Crime this week on Lee's final challenge. I didn't weigh in on this. I specifically waited until I made this video to give you who I thought would win between these two guys. And just real briefly, I'm going to touch on that. Joker is the enigma of DC, period. Um, his storyline, his backstory, his origin has been twisted and turned in all kinds of ways. Now, we could get technical and go to the sense that the Joker and the origin now is pretty much unkillable because they found out he can't die. So, where's Deadpool's regeneration factor playing at that point? I mean, for a person that can't die would find a way to kill Deadpool because Deadpool has been killed before. How many times has Joker been killed? You can probably count that on your hands how many times he's been gone and came back. The Joker is basically a big enigma. His whole storyline right now is creating such a bunch of stir, but we're not gonna go with that. We're gonna go with the traditional Joker, the one that can be killed and the one we know about since we were growing up about none of this other new stuff. But in a one-on-one -on -one fight between Joker and Deadpool, in my honest opinion, um, at the end of the day, we have to give it up to Deadpool's regeneration factor, um, which is basically overpowered right now because the guy can get his head blown off and still able to um, recover himself. The only way Joker would probably be able to beat Deadpool is if he lures him to a place where it's like acid and, and disintegrates him on a molecular level. It's the only way he's going to win. Sorry, guys. And this round, Deadpool wins. Now to the news. All right. Coming up first in news, we got um, in Power Ranger news. Yeah, you think I, I don't talk about Power Rangers? Huh? Well, guess what? Fool you. Breaking Bad actor Brian Cranston, a.k.a. Walter White, will be playing Heisen Zornberg. Um, he will be selling crystal meth to the Power Rangers. Bruh. I'm just joking. Uh, Brian Cranston is going to be playing Zordon in the new Power Rangers movie. Get hyped for that. All right. All right. Coming up next in uh, Marvel news, Spider-Man. The Hollywood Reporter is reporting that Joaquin Woodbine will be joining the cast of Spider-Man Homecoming. He'll be playing a villain. What villain? Hasn't been announced yet. Also alongside joining him will be um, comedian Hannibal Burris. His role has yet to be announced also, so that's, that's a good thing. We, we a lot of Spider-Man, they're making moves on that. Keep it up. All right, coming up, a lot of DC news. All right, moving on to um, Gotham. WBTV reports that uh, Gotham is going to get a new Poison Ivy in Maggie Giha. She's going to be playing a new Poison Ivy in the Gotham series. So if you're watching Gotham and you're into Batman mythos and you want Poison Ivy, guess what? They're getting it. All right. Coming up next, uh, Supergirl news. Um, this is for you old school guys. Uh, Linda Carter. That's right. The original Wonder Woman. Linda Carter will be in season two of Supergirl. She will be the president of that, um, I guess you want to call it Earth, that uh, dimension that Supergirl is from, should be playing the president. So, uh, yeah, OG Wonder Woman is coming for uh, Supergirl nostalgia. Yeah. All right, moving on. We're going to be talking about Justice League news. Justice League news, um, Superman will be returning with the mullet. That's right. The death of Superman mullet is going to be making a romp and stomp all over uh, the Justice League movie uh, recording to Zack Snyder. Um, also, they are reporting that no longer will the Justice League movie be in part one and part two as they originally set out, but it's going to be its own standalone movie. So, yeah, that, that should be good. Um, it's also going to be set with a lighter tone. Oh, yeah, so all you Batman v Superman complainers out there are on board after um, Batman v Superman, which was a good movie, but it could have been done better. You know, people have waited a long time for a very good Batman Superman movie. And we're getting Justice League, which will be dropping next year in November 2017. Look forward to that. All right. Up next, we got um, Arrow News. This is a lot. A lot of Arrow News coming out right now. Um, this is coming from Variety. That Artemis, that's right. If you watch Young Justice, 
Artemis will be joining the crew on the Arrow. Um, it's going to be played by the same woman that stole Black Canary's uniform in season four. So if you remember that character who took her, her clothes, she's going to be playing Artemis. And from the reports, it's not going to be the same Artemis um, that we know from Young Justice, only by name. Sorry. Okay, I needed that card. Yeah, I had to go get that card after I uh, threw it by accident. Bruh. All right, I found the card I needed after throwing it. Yeah, I'm going to throw it again, but I needed that. Okay, anyway, um, also, um, Arrow News. The Walking Dead, uh, Chad Coleman, who played Tyrese. That's right, Tyrese is coming to the Arrow to play um, Tobias Church. Character by the name of Tobias Church. This is according to IGN News. All right, so get hype if you miss Tyrese, you know, one of the dudes that got killed off of Walking Dead. He's gonna be joining Arrow. Tiberius Church, look out for it. All right, Flash. Now moving on to Flash news here, um, cause you know I had to save the best for last. Um, this is reported by Grant Gustin himself from his official Twitter page, that's right, the Flash himself says that the title for episode one of season three will be indeed Flashpoint. Boom goes the dynamite. I don't know if I should have said that. Once again, my name is Lee Boy and you're listening and watching Lee's Final Word. And now at the end of the program here for Lee's Final News, we're gonna move into the final challenge. For this week's final challenge, we're gonna go a little deeper. We're gonna go into outer space. We're going to two places, two cores, one goal. Who would win between DC's Green Lantern and Marvel's Nova? But tell me who you would think would win between all out battle between Green Lantern and Nova. Remember, it's only valid if you're a subscriber to my channel and you leave a comment down below. Once again, my name is Lee Boy and you're listening and watching to Lee's Final Word. And this has been the final news. And this is the final time I'm saying it because video's over. Take care. Hey, Alan, you see on the TV show. So if you're a fan of The Flash or you're someone who's uh, wanted to know more about the history of The Flash, I'm gonna go into a little bit of detail for you to give you a, a more general idea of who this character is that Grant Gustin is actually playing. Now let's get into